Hey guys, Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at stem and leaf plots. This is another type of graphical display for quantitative data. Stem and leaf plots are actually similar to histograms. However, histograms, we get a feel for how many data values are in a particular class but we lose the actual data values. So a stem and leaf plot sort of solves that. It uses and shows each individual data value. However, if we sort of compare the heights of our, you could think of these as bars over here, we still get the same picture that we would with a histogram. So let's look at some of the things that a stem and leaf plot needs to have. So the first thing, of course, just like all of our graphical displays, it needs a title. Another thing that it's going to need is it's going to need a key. Not every stem and leaf plot has the tens place in the stem and the ones place in the leaf. So it could be the case if we had a different key that eight bar zero meant eight point zero. So it's super important that we put a key on every stem and leaf plot that we create. So the idea here is that we have a vertical bar separating our numbers here. This side is known as the stem and these are the leaves. So we put things into categories by showing, hey, this is the data value 34. There's actually two 34s and then 35. So by separating into a stem and a leaf, I can organize my data in a nice, easy to view way, but I'm still seeing all of my individual data values. Let's look at an example of that. Back to our census data, now we're gonna look at the heights, okay? So when we look at our height data, we need to look at convenient ways we might break up our stem and our leaf, and then we need to create a key for that. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and first get a title going, and then we're gonna figure out what we want our stem and what we want our leaf to be. So here in this first one, I'm gonna call this, this is heights. And I'm gonna say that they are in centimeters. This one I can label my stem, and these are my leaves. So looking at my data, most of them are three digit. So I think that it would be best if I chose the first two, so 11 to be my stem with a zero, and use that as my key to show that that is 110. So I'm gonna come down here and put my key and say that 11, bar zero equals the data point 110. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my data into my chart. When we create these stem and leaf charts, it is important that your leaves be in numerical order from least to greatest. So if you have the opportunity to put your data value least to greatest, that will be super helpful for you. Okay, so I actually have one two-digit data point, so I'm gonna make that stem zero, two. Then I will put a little, I'm gonna put a little squiggle here to indicate, hey, I'm skipping some and go to my next one, which would be 11. After that, I don't really wanna skip anything. I wanna go straight from 11 all the way up to 18, and while I won't use the 12 or the 13, that will be good for me to see. It will show me that there are empty bars, essentially. So I'm gonna go from 11, counting by one, all the way up to a stem of 18, since my largest data value is 188. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and fill in my leaves. So my first leaf is my data point of 25, so zero, two, and then five makes the data point 25. When I get to the 11 stem, I have a zero leaf and a three leaf. So I'm gonna put zero comma three. I don't have any 12s, I don't have any 13, so I'll just leave those blank. 
When I get to the 140s, I have 143, 6, and 9. So I'll place 3, comma, 6, comma, 9. I only have one data value in the 15 stem. That is 155. In the 160s, I have 2. So I have 2, comma, 2. So if a data value appears more than once, make sure that you list it that many times. I have lots of 70s here, so let's get those in. 0, 0, so 0, comma, 0, 3, then 4, 4, 5, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9. And then finally into my 180s, I have 4. So I have 3, 4, 8, and eight. So there's my stem and leaf plot for the heights from our census data, complete with stems, leaves in order, separated by commas, a title, and a key. That's it for stem and leaf plot from us guys. Catch you in the next video.